What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to be talking about PCSing to Andrews Air Force Base and finding a great area for you to live either right around the base or maybe a little bit further from the base. So I'm going to go over three different areas with my third kind of being that wild card that more and more people are considering uh, when they're moving to Andrews Air Force Base. So make sure you listen to the whole video. All right, my name is Rob Scow and I'm with EXP Realty in Southern Maryland. We love helping people move to Southern Maryland. So if that's something that you really are interested in doing, maybe because you're PCSing to Andrews Air Force Base or for other reasons, make sure you click that subscribe button and you click the bell so you're notified every single time we put out new content. And again, if you want any help, when you're moving down here or you're considering a move down here if you're um, you know have a permanent change of station to Andrews Air Force Base use that contact information below to reach out to us the phone number the email or even scroll down into the comments and you're gonna see a link down in that first comment by me and it's gonna have a link there for you to click uh, to get onto my calendar and make an appointment with me um, so you can so we can discuss your buying needs uh, when you're coming to the Southern Maryland area. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, I don't need to give you a whole background on Andrews Air Force Base. I'm sure you've watched other videos on the history of it and the stuff to do on the base itself. But what I specifically want to talk to you about today is the housing around Andrews Air Force Base. Now, Andrews Air Force Base is pretty awesome because there is a lot of military housing around it, and it's not just Andrews Air Force Base that you can choose from. So you can also look at the Bowling Air Force Base and the Fort Belvoir Air Force Base. Um, so you can look at those three different uh, areas for looking for military housing, and I believe it's Liberty Housing that's in charge of that. So I'm scrolling that website on the, on the screen right now, and that's who I would reach out. If you're really dead set on doing military housing, then they're the people to reach out to 100%. And there's so many people that are within uh, the military that can point you in the right direction for that. Now, if you're considering moving off base or living off base, the really nice thing is because you're in that metropolitan DC area, you be, your BAH rates are pretty high. So I'm scrolling them on the screen right now, and I'll leave them up for a second while I'm talking. But you can really afford uh, a nice single family home or a town home in a lot of different areas around Andrews Air Force Base for that BAH that you're getting because it's a more uh, cost, higher cost of living area. Now, a lot of people that move to Andrews Air Force Base kind of uh, go north of Andrews Air Force Base into that capital region and the cost of living is, uh, it can get a little high. Uh, so a lot of people then start looking to the south of it. So I specialize in south of Andrews Air Force Base, we call it Southern Maryland, and that makes up Calvert, the Southern Maryland is made up of Calvert County, Charles County, and, and my wild card for you today is going to be St. Mary's County. But what I'm going to do is kind of talk about the pros and cons-ish of each county and kind of give you an idea of maybe why you would want to move to one of those uh, counties outside of the capital region, the Southern Maryland County. All right, so the first one I'm going to talk about today is Charles County, and I'm going to focus specifically on the Waldorf and La Plata area. Now, a lot of people that uh, work on Andrews Air Force Base or PCS uh, to Andrews Air Force Base, end up settling in that Waldorf area. It's because the commute's pretty short, as you can see on the screen I'm showing you right now. The commute's not bad at all, uh, and the cost of living is really relatively inexpensive compared to the other areas in the capital region. So, um, you know, for those reasons, a lot of people choose Waldorf. All right, so when you're looking at Waldorf itself, you're looking at spending around $389,000 based on last year's numbers, which 2021, everyone knows is a crazy year for home prices, but based on last year's numbers, about $389,000 um, was the average sales price of a home in Waldorf last year. And that was a four bedroom, three bathroom home. So that's a bigger home around 2000 square feet. Uh, try getting that in an area kind of north of Andrews Airport for space. That's a lot tougher, uh, tougher tasks to do just because of the property prices up there. So down there in Waldorf below Andrews Air Force Base, you really can find a moderately priced single family home within that BAH allowance most likely. So you wouldn't be paying much out of pocket. Now, another nice thing about Waldorf is while it's not the shopping like you used to when you would be, say, in Annapolis 
or um, you know other areas around that DC region or north of Andrews Air Force Base, there is still shopping. And for Southern Maryland, there's a lot of shopping because in other areas of Southern Maryland, there's not as much as there is in Waldorf. Uh, so there's actually a mall in Waldorf. There's Lowe's and Home Depot and all types of stuff right in that in that Waldorf area and it's an easy commute to each one of those things. So if you kind of want to have that lower price of, of living, of housing, but you still want to be close to a kind of city center, I wouldn't call it a city, maybe like a overgrown town um, would be a better way to describe it, then, then you definitely would want to check out Waldorf because you kind of have everything there. Another really cool thing about Waldorf is the amount of new construction that's going on. Um, I can think of one of the biggest master plan communities I can think of right now is, is the St. Charles neighborhood, which is close to Andrews Air Force Base, close to the shopping, but it's actually a little pulled back from uh, kind of the hustle and bustle of Waldorf, but you're still within a nice little community with a bunch of different uh, housing type single family homes and townhomes uh, and a different amenities in there too, pools and tennis courts, and all that kind of stuff. So that's another great thing about Waldorf is that newer construction. Um, Kind of want a wild card about Waldorf too, and I think it's something that's really neat. Uh, there's not a lot of sporting events that go on in Southern Maryland. We don't have really any sport teams besides the Southern Maryland Blue, Blue Crabs, which are located in Waldorf. So that's really nice that you have an opportunity to go out with friends, family, coworkers, and go to the Blue Crabs game, maybe grab a bite to eat and a beer, and watch some uh, local baseball. So another great thing of being close in Waldorf there. Now, People complain about Waldorf because of the traffic. Traffic can get bad because it is a uh, town where people live there and normally work somewhere else. So people are really commuting to that DC, commuting to Andrews Air Force Base, uh, back and forth. And so traffic can get bad around those times of the day. But for the most part, if you're comparing it to traffic around the Beltway, around um, you know that DC area, or even north of DC 270 and places like that, it is not nearly as bad as that. Um, and some say it's well worth the, the difference in housing costs to be able to make that commute. All right. And so also in Charles County, and I said it before, it's not just Waldorf. There's La Plata. La Plata is south of Waldorf. So it's a little bit further of a commute. Um, and you go through Waldorf to get there. So you still have to go through that traffic for the most part. But you're looking at bigger houses, bigger lots, and it's more of a small town feel compared to kind of like, a, you know, an, an overgrown kind of town, mini city kind of feel. You're definitely more in the country and you have the opportunity to be part of like a kind of a small town that La Plata is as well. Their town center has different parades and, and festivals, um, but there's not as much shopping. There's not as much stuff to do right around La Plata. Now, that also, with the bigger houses and with the bigger lots, come higher home prices. The average home price is $425,000. And again, that's for about a four-bedroom, three-bathroom uh, that sold last year in 2021. Um, but the square footage was a little bit more. So it was over 2,000 square feet. It was about 2,100 square feet. So you're getting a bigger home. You're getting bigger lot sizes. Um, but you are having to commute a little bit further for it. So it, it's kind of that trade-off if you want to be um, close to it and have the best you know, home for your money kind of thing. Waldorf may be the place to look, but if you don't mind driving a little further and you want a bigger house with, uh, you know, with a bigger land and, and more kind of space to sprawl out, La Plata might be where to look in Charles County. So the second most popular destination in Southern Maryland for people from Andrews Air Force Base to go to is definitely Northern Calvert County. So we kind of, um, Northern Calvert County would be to the east of Andrews Air Force Base and places like Dunkirk, places like Huntingtown, Places like North Beach and Chesapeake Beach are all really great options if you're looking to move from that whole um, Andrews Air Force Base in the capital region to a more quiet region. Now, that Northern Calvert County part, I would definitely consider it kind of suburban and rural. So there's a lot of smaller neighborhoods. There's some master neighborhoods, master plan neighborhoods that have pools and stuff like that. But for the most part, the lots and lots are larger and the houses are larger and everything is a little bit more spread out. Um, and if that's what you're looking for in a home, then that can be a really good, good spot for you. But it's not like Waldorf where you have all that shopping and all that other stuff right at your fingertips. You would still have to drive either back into you know, DC and then to that Air, Andrews Air Force Base region to go to real, you know, malls and kind of stuff like that, or maybe up to Annapolis. So that can kind of add to your, your travel time on the weekends and when you're doing stuff with family. But I will say it is definitely um, more and more things are coming to that Northern Calvert County. And I see more and more people kind of 
leaving those those uh, those capital region areas and kind of coming into that northern Calvert County. So I wouldn't be surprised if more shopping and more restaurants and more stuff like that really start coming into Calvert County to give people more options um, when they're living there too. So so right now Calvert County is actually ranked number seven in the state for public schools. So if public schools are something you're really looking at, uh, it's definitely the best ranked school in Southern, or best ranked county for schools in Southern Maryland. And being seventh in the state, in a state that's normally ranked pretty high nationwide for schools, that's a real feather in its cap compared to the other two counties. Uh, so it might be worth that little bit of commute. All right, so my last one is my wild card. Now it is the longest commute of them all, but I'm gonna say this. St. Mary's County has great home prices. It's median home price last year was right around three hundred and forty thousand uh, dollars to three hundred fifty thousand dollars, which puts it right around. It puts it actually below that Waldorf average. The one problem with it is it's a further commute. But with everybody teleworking now, and maybe you're only going in two three days a week, it might be worth it to you to live somewhere a little further, a little bit more country setting, a little bit more removed with a lower cost of living and save some of that money that, that you're making at your job um, and save some of that money that you're, you're not using to, you know, to commute to your job because you're teleworking and live in St. Mary's. Um, now, the one thing that I really love about St. Mary's County compared to the other counties is the amount of waterfront that's available in St. Mary's County. St. Mary's County's peninsula is surrounded by the Potomac River and the Patuxent River and the Chesapeake Bay. So if water is important to you, by far, I think um, that your opportunity to own waterfront is so much more in St. Mary's County than other areas just because of the amount of water frontage and shore frontage there is in St. Mary's County. So if you're someone at Andrews Air Force Base and you are looking at waterfront and you're frustrated at the prices and you know in Northern Calvert County and in Arundel County and all those, those counties that are on the bay over there, Take a look down in St. Mary's County, especially if you're tele teleworking and stuff like that. If you're at home five days a week and you're only commuting two days a week, uh, it, it might not be that big of a deal for you to have to drive that hour and 15 to hour and 30 minutes um, if you get to be right on the water where you've always wanted to be. So St. Mary's County is definitely my wild card that I'd be checking out if I was at Andrews Air Force Base because you get a lot of bang for your buck and you have that chance to own the waterfront. All right, so hopefully these three kind of uh, ideas of where you could look if your PCS into Andrews Air Force Base help you out. If you have any questions or you need any help, make sure you use the contact information below and I'd be happy to help you. And again, don't forget, scroll down, click the little link in the comments, and that will start a meeting with me. You'll be able to pick a day for yourself that works really well for you. We'll be able to do a virtual meet, and we can figure out exactly where you want to be in Southern Maryland. And again, if you haven't yet, make sure you click the subscribe button, you click the little bell so you're notified every time we put out new content about living in Southern Maryland. Mm -hmm.